So if you haven't seen the past two videos, I got a 2003 Craftsman mower that I'm going to turn into a racing mower. So far, all I've really gotten done is I've cleaned it up a lot and I've taken the engine out of it. But the engine is leaking out of the bottom, so I have to change the gaskets in that, fix it up, get it running better, adjust the valves, and that's what this video is gonna be about. But I'm actually not home right now. I'm in Atlanta for the week. So I'm going to, I'm about to research what I need to do for the engine, and I might also come up with a name for the mower. I'm back in North Carolina. I got a new seal for the mower. Let's see if it works. First things first, let's see if the truck starts. I always leave all this stuff plugged in. I got all kinds of stuff hooked up, so let's see what happens. That's not too bad. All right, so I looked into how, oh. <clears throat> so I was looking into how to replace this seal, and there's a, there's an easy way and a hard way, basically. The hard way involves taking the entire engine apart, because you have to get the whole crankshaft out to replace that seal, which is really, I think, the right way to do it. And the easy way is to just gouge that old seal out from the outside, and then just tap in a new one. So I'm gonna try the easy way first and see what happens. So this is the main seal, and that's, this one is looking like, it looks like the same size from here at least. So I think that's the right seal. But this place is just an absolute mess right now. The entire garage and also this desk is just, it's bad. So today we're just gonna clean. Um, so I'll catch back up with you guys tomorrow or whenever I get back in here to keep working on this motor. All right, it's been a couple days, but I'm gonna finally start working on this thing. I need to try and get this off. That's gonna be interesting. Oh, that was so easy. <laughs> that was way easier than I thought it would be. All right, so this seal has to come out. I'm gonna see if I can get this seal puller thing to work. I don't think that's working. Oh, this is... <laughs> That's so easy. So I've been sitting here thinking this that what just happened in 20 seconds was gonna be a lot more difficult. So I'm so glad that went easy. I wanna just clean out that surface now and put in the new seal if it fits. I gotta say in the package they look identical. Let's see. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this motor oil I have and rub it on this new seal oil in that sealing surface. Get ready to go. This might be overcomplicating it, but I've gotta drive this seal in now and with all the hassle that comes with your engine literally leaking on your belts, I don't want that to happen again. So I'm going to design a seal driver for this and then 3D print it. This drawing looks kind of insane, but let's get on the computer and see if we can make it look better. So if you know anything about 3D printing, you know that 3D printing something takes a very long time. So to try and solve that problem, I'm gonna try and incorporate this PVC pipe into my design. You'll see what I mean in a second. So here's the idea. We got this piece of PVC. It's supposed to slide in to this here. So then this will go over the seal on the engine and that shaft, that output shaft, is gonna come up through here. Let's print it and see if it works. It says it's supposed to take hour and seven minutes, so let's get that started. All 
I think that's perfect. Let's see if this fits. Oh, that's so tight, but it works. Oh, that's so perfect. I'm gonna cut this. Make it a little nicer to use. And just like that, we've got a seal driver, so let's drive the seal. That is so incredibly satisfying. To have a tool that you made work that well is such a cool feeling. She'll get a permanent spot. So I would like to see what happens when I replace this pulley that goes on the output shaft of the engine. But I've been reading that a way that a lot of people have been doing it is instead of changing this pulley, they change the pulley on the transmission. Which, looking at how this is set up, that would be easier anyway, so I'm gonna start there. So I can just degrease this one, because it's got oil all over it, and throw it back on. <laughs> I don't think there's that much oil left in this thing, but I want to see what state it's in. That is dark, dark oil. I don't, I don't think this is oil has been changed in a very long time. It's finally time to put the motor back in. Engine's back in the mower, which is super exciting because it has been apart for a very long time. Now that it's back together, I will need to put oil in it and adjust the valves. I need to make sure that the oil isn't leaking. So I'm just gonna get the engine started and running. I'm not even gonna hook the pulley back up just because it is saturated in oil. The belt is saturated in oil. So I don't even wanna get the pulley nasty again. So tomorrow I'm gonna pick up some oil and then we'll see if the engine works. I picked up two quarts of oil, which is what this says it takes. So let's fill this thing up. <laughs> it's leaking, but it's just leaking, I'm pretty sure from this low point, the drain. So I'm just gonna take that off, clean it, put it back on. Oh, it's a mess. I knew it. This is ridiculous. Nothing on these mowers has a really strong connection. This is the drain and it just twists on. It doesn't even screw on. This O-ring's super worn out. I think that'll work. <laughs> this is such a mess. Won't even fit with that O-ring on it. I'm gonna try a smaller one. Something is not right. I need to turn now. I don't understand why this is so stiff. There, I mean, that should be on there. I think that worked. I had the battery on the charger. <clears throat> For a couple days, so I'm hoping this thing starts up. Absolutely nothing. Uh oh. I put um I put two ports in because I read it on the internet. <laughs> Why do you put so much in? Because it says two ports on the internet, and I just. Did two quarts. So I way overfilled the oil with my cheap AutoZone oil. 
But, and this is what, <clears throat> that's what I just drained out of it. I'm gonna start it again now that we're at the right level and just see what happens. Oh, it runs. A lot just happened. So I got here, I noticed that the engine was leaking from the drain, so I fixed that. <laughs> and then I went to put the new oil in. I just blindly followed a Google result that popped up that said it needed two quarts. Put two quarts in, it was wildly overfilled. So it was just burning oil. <clears throat> drain some of that, which I'm kind of glad I did drain some of it because it came out looking disgusting. So I'm definitely gonna need to change the oil again soon. So it ended up working out. The engine is running, so that means everything's plugged in, everything's back together, everything's working. Now I need to make sure that it's not leaking from that main seal that I just replaced. And I want to adjust the valves. All right, it's time to adjust these valves. I found a super good video on how to do this. I'm gonna link it up here because go check that out if you're adjusting your valves on a Briggs & Stratton engine. Definitely. I don't know if you can see it, but this thing is disgusting. Try and find top dead center on this thing. All right, that's the wrong stroke. There we go. There was way too much oil in this thing. <laughs> I think that's good. Oh, it's upside down. I don't think it matters, but I just don't like that it says overhead valve backwards, or upside down. <laughs> There's oil all over this thing. So if this worked, it should run. I'm just letting it run. It's burning a bunch of oil, but I think it's just the oil on the muffler. It's running so much smoother than it was before. No, it's definitely burning oil. Anyway guys, that's all for this video. I'm not even mad about it burning oil because it's definitely just for me overfilling the crankcase. So I'm gonna, I need to drain that oil out and replace it anyway because it still looks nasty. So I'm gonna go to Walmart where oil is cheap unlike the AutoZone oil, which for some reason is insanely expensive. But that's beside the point. Basically, engine's running. It's ready for a new pulleys and belt and I need to figure out the oil thing, but I don't think that's that big of a deal. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and look forward to more mower videos. Now it's kind of past the, past the part where it's just engine work for the most part. So now I can actually get to the fun part. So look forward to that. Hopefully I can get that out in the next couple weeks. Bye guys.